Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here is your latest for Tuesday, October 31st, 2023. Celestia goes live on mainnet beta. Vitalik Buterin outlines the Layer 2 ecosystem. Optimism prepares for special voting cycle 16B. And Unibot suffers a $640,000 exploit. All this and more starts right now. Celestia, a modular data availability network, is now live on mainnet beta. The deployment comes four years after the release of its original white paper. Kepler, Leap, Ledger, and the Mystic MetaMask snaps are compatible with the network. Users can use Selenium, MintScan, and Modular Cloud Block Explorers for tracking Celestia transactions. Users can also operate a Celestia Lite node, which plays a vital role in gossiping information and helping ensure data availability. Developers can use Caldera, Outlayer, and Vistara rollup as a service providers to deploy rollups with Celestia serving as the data availability layer. TIA, Celestia's native token, is currently trading at $2.42 at the time of recording. Vitalik Buterin published a blog post outlining the diversification in the Layer 2 ecosystem. He notes trends in varying types of Layer 2s, including Layer 1 projects transitioning into a Layer 2, centralized projects aiming for enhanced security, and non-financial applications striving for a balance between security and decentralization. The blog outlines rollups and validiums. Rollups validate computations through either fraud proofs or zero knowledge proofs and keep data on layer 1. Validiums, on the other hand, use zero knowledge proofs but store data externally. Vitalik introduces the term disconnected systems, which refers to trusting a small set of entities not to mishandle funds. He also underscores two facets of connection to Ethereum the security of withdrawing to Ethereum, and the security of reading Ethereum. Optimism Governance concluded its special voting cycle 16A, leading to the approval of six governance proposals. The proposals include changes to the Optimism Security Council, the formation of an anti-capture commission, and budgets for a developer advisory board, grants council, and code of conduct council. Users can currently self-nominate for positions on the Grants Council and Code of Conduct Council with a deadline set for November 1st at 19 UTC. On Thursday, November 2nd, Optimism will initiate Special Voting Cycle 16B, which will feature elections for both councils, approval for the Law of Chains, intent budgets, and the introduction of a chain delegation program. And lastly, Unibot, a popular Telegram-based trading tool, suffered an exploit resulting in the loss of over $640,000. Uniswap founder Hayden Adams criticized the tool for its poor private key storage management and for trading through unverified routers. A vulnerability allowed an attacker to make an arbitrary call to drain tokens that were approved for the contract. The Unibot tool allowed users to swap assets without having to leave the Telegram app. In other news, ZK Sync Era releases its Block Explorer API, Hardhat releases Ignition version 0.11.1, and Wallet Connect adds Russia to its block list. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing and following us on Twitter at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ETHDaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.